So for the solid state drive, we're going to pick up one by Samsung. It's going to be one terabyte, and it's going for about $109 right now, but it's not every day you find a five-star product with over 8,700 views. Um, honestly, it just, everything typically speaks for itself. Um, so we're going to pick that up, and we're going to use that in our installation video. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so this is the moment we've been waiting for ever since I got this laptop. I am going to install a one terabyte solid state drive by Samsung into this laptop because it by default came with a 256 gigs of solid state memory. So we kind of want a little bit more. All right, so first things first, we're going to power it on. Alright, so as you can see right here, we have only one storage device showing up. Can't read it because, you know, reasons. But as of right now, one storage device, it does say 236 gigs available. So we're going to turn the laptop off and start pulling it apart. Alright, so this is the back of the laptop. I'm going to find a screwdriver, fits the head of the screws. Just want to mention, I don't have too much experience. I've actually never done any kind of upgrade to a laptop before. So I just want you guys to know that if you know anything about computers, you're already better off. I'm essentially winging it. Slash doing what I think might be logical. So... Let's get this back plate off. All right, now that I have all the screws off, on the Predator Helios 300, I should just be able to slide it off. Alright, so I have to just pull up right here. I'm gonna put that down next to me. So, right now we've got the inside. We've got the inside of our laptop. Right here is where we're gonna put into the solid state drive. Uh, this is an M2 drive slot, another M2 slot, M2 drive slot. This is RAM. More RAM, fan, fan, motherboard, uh, processor somewhere in here. I think it might be underneath. Uh, this is our wireless adapter card, big battery, speaker, speaker, uh, thermal venting. So we're going to open our Samsung drive. Got the case open. This little guy is so tiny. It's a nice, very lightweight piece of material. All right, so I'm gonna put you down right here. We're gonna open up the hard drive drive upgrade kit that came with the laptop. So we're just gonna figure out how to get this guy all set up. All right, so put that on wrong. We're gonna try to flip it. All right, so looks uh, good, <laughs> debatably. All right, we've got the plate up. So, since this is a magnetized screwdriver, I'm not going to point at it. But right here, this is where the ribbon connects into. This is the ribbon. This little boy goes right, right into there. All right, so we can't get the clip back up. Just kidding, we just got the clip back up. All right, so logically we have this thing planted in. I say logically because I have no idea, to be honest. Gotta make sure. Hit all the clips. I'm not gonna put the screws in just yet. Just so we can try to boot up this laptop. 
All right, so we're seeing this whole screen. So clearly it has registered the right boot drive. Sometimes people have issues with that. And if you have issues with that, you have to like go into the BIOS of the laptop slash computer and just change what it registers. Good thing we left the screws out so we can just pull up. Back came off. And we just have to flip. And what we're honestly just going to do is flip the ribbon. If that doesn't work, we'll flip the whole drive and just go from there. Let's try turning it on again. So I'm looking at disk management and it's not showing up at all. So that means we did something wrong. So what we're going to do, turn the laptop off, shut down. Here's fantastic. Boots up, shuts down almost immediately all the time. Highly recommended laptop. All right. I feel more confident about hooking up the M2, the solid state now. I heard like a good old clicky noise. Whole nine yards. So we're gonna put this case back on this little heat shield. Alright guys, so I went into disk management because when I went to Windows Explorer, it's hard to see. When I went to Windows Explorer right here, the, I click on this PC and it only shows the one drive that I have installed, the M2 256 gig. So I opened up disk management and just like searched it, it popped it open. It says you must initialize the disk before logical disk manager can access it. Okay. All right. We currently have two drive letters showing up. So I'm going to quickly show you on my main desktop what I was doing in order to get the drive to register and to work. Because as soon as I installed it, plugged in the ribbon to the motherboard, and then I opened up the file explorer, I went to this PC, and it would only show the one main drive. And in order to make it show up for me, I had to set it up. So I typed disk manage mint and it brings up create and format hard disk partitions all right and this is on windows 10 this shows you all my drives and so basically it showed disk zero and disk one disk zero was the main drive the m2 drive on the laptop the 256 gig one and then when i knew that it was installed properly it was showing disk one so once you have disk management open I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Let's delete the volume. Make sure that's the one I want to do. This is how it showed up. Once this became online, my computer stopped responding. I'm just kidding. Um, once this became online, I right clicked this and I did new simple volume and it comes you to the new simple volume setup wizard just go through next you set the size that you want to make of your volume you can make like different parts so what I did was I gave it the new drive letter uh, you hit next I personally formatted the drive and you can just label it however you want and then once you hit next that's when it works. So I'm going to type my USB stick. Quick format. It goes over the whole thing it did. It does its thing. My USB stick is now active. We're going to look into this computer. And that's exactly when the drive started showing up. So that is how you install a solid state drive into a laptop. The the normal way. You're you're not going to see professionals 
immediately be able to install these things without having to go back, open it up again, wiggle the plug so that it, it works. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll answer anything. I'll tell you how the drive is in a couple months. Um, yeah, thanks for checking out the video. If you liked this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll try to post some more. See you guys.